great rivalry. Jimmy Connors in the far court warming up Bjorn Borg, the Swedish champion in the near court. This will be Borg's last active major championship as he retires tomorrow. And so we may see a great one here, Barry McKay, because this is a fabulous rivalry that dates back to 1976 when Borg started his five-year winning streak on that center court at Wimbledon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Skylight Donald, and as we said earlier, only two match. players have won this tournament, the Bjorn Borg and Jimmy Connors. Step. Borg beating Connors in 78, Connors beating McEnroe 80 Connors 81, won the toss. and Borg beating Elos last year. And we saw him play some great tennis on this same court last year. I think he's going to be charged up to put on the best performance he's ever put on in his career as a in a blaze of glory. But we will soon find out. Ready. Jordan Borg at the bottom of your screen Light. against Jimmy Connors on the far side. 14,000 people here at the Yo-Yogi are awfully excited about this final. Borg to serve. First point of the match. ball bounces Love nice and low. We've said earlier, this court seems to be bouncing low. It's a uniturf surface. For those of you that have just tuned in, we're playing on strictly a singles court laid out just for singles. There you see it. Ace. <laughs> and Borg kind of just laid into that serve. He didn't really hit, snap his wrist at all. He just kind of sliced it. Watch it here. A nice, easy toss by Borg. Leans in, hits it right down the center, splits that line, 15 all. forehand that gave him some trouble yesterday against Creek. Didn't really get over the ball. First service. And serves I've ever seen Borg serve. He threw the ball about a foot low. Looked like he almost should have caught that toss, Donald. It was such a bad toss. First step. I think Borg's a little nervous, Barry. He it seems that looks way. tense as he's hitting these first few rallies. That's some slow start. 13, 14. Big chance for Connors here. First game of the match, and he's already got a break point. Wide. No question from Borg as he strictly walks over. Quick game. And Bjorn Borg first game of the match. has lost the first game of the match to Jimmy Connors. And we'll be back with more tennis from Tokyo in one moment. Stay tuned for more tennis after our messages from our local system. Great deep shot off that backhand of Borg's. Called wide. Looked wide from up here, Donald. Borg had a little bit of a look down there at that lines person, but it, it was wide. going to be a different style match than the first one we saw because both players like the baseline. Both players believe they can win the rallies. Corners to corners. Deep shot to deep shot. In the first match we saw McEnroe coming in a lot. Creek coming in occasionally. Here Connors will stay back and rally with Borg till he gets that short ball. 30, that's the 15. forehand weakness we've talked about. That's that short ball. Once that ball is inside the service line. Jimmy seems to have trouble saying, am I going to slice under it or am I going to come over with a top spin? I think he ought to slice under the ball a little bit on the approach shot. 
He can do it. He can go either way. He's moved his grip around. He told me in the last six months, much more towards a western grip on that forehand. There you see it. Thirty all. Two forehand errors by Connors, and we're thirty all. There, Jimmy looked over. He thought it might have been long. 14, 13. There's another look back at the linesman. Bjorn looking a little bit tense early in this match. He's got to be thinking, Donald, this is the last big match I'm going to play against Jimmy Connors, possibly in my entire career. Jamie Connor. And Connors pops another good first serve in there. And so Connors moves Connors that quickly to a 2 0 lead. lead and Clearly, uh, Bjorn Borg is the more nervous of the two in this early going. Just a little tentative, a little stiff-legged when he walks. That's how you can tell he's nervous. Called a fault. Oh, look at that great cross-court. Shot Borg owns the backhand two-hander cross court. Watch it now. Connors elects to go cross court. Comes in quick. Watch this shot by Borg. Rips over the ball. Look at Great the angle. angle. Yeah. Jeez. Tremendous angle. Stayed inside the service line. Now well, that's over. 15 all. I think Connors feels more comfortable, Donald, hitting cross court with that forehand than going up the line. He did it that time, but unfortunately that's going right into the strength of Borg, and that's that great two-hander. No call. 30-15. Good. This match starting a lot smoother than the McEnroe Creek event. By the third game, we'd already had quite a few grumblings. These two players just out firing away without saying too much. by Jimmy as he looks at that ball and I think in his mind he, he would prefer Donald to come under the ball that's a more natural shot for him but he knows that he's going to get in a little trouble and float it if he slices it hmm. unusual error for Borg that forehand off the wrong foot he was careless and he normally doesn't make those unforced errors the Borg of old would never have missed that one. Ooh, same approach shot that time. Connors electing to go cross court. He feels more comfortable, and Borg lined up that great shot down the line, but didn't hit it well. Back to Deuce. Big game here. Connors could go up two breaks, Donald. He'd be in a great position at three love in this first set. Oh. Oh. Four covers. And this crowd, I think, sentimentally wants board. You can't say enough about board. Let's return. watch it. Good shot up the line. Bjorn surprisingly comes into volley. Watch Jimmy. He'll try and flick that volley. He makes a good shot, but Borg was too quick. Covered it. He's got the air. Advantage to Borg. Connors was surprised, Donald, on that last ball to see Borg in at net. That's right. There he comes. Oh, he faked it. Comes Jimmy. Oh, oh. winner. 
Perfect play into the open court with a little forehand that drops. Very clever shot by Connors because the last two times he's had the identical ball, he has hit cross court. That time he lined up, Bjorn moved to, to protect the cross court, Connors hits it up the line for a winner. Jimmy hesitating now. Well, he looks over, watch it here. The ball looked like it might have been wide. Connor's waiting for the call. It did look wide, actually. Yep. That's a good camera angle from down there. You get a good feel for that wide serve. Suntory Cup, $110,000 first prize. Oh. Over the baseline. You know, Barry, this is Love one of the tennis's great rivalries. Connors and Board go back to the late 70s, and they've played, I guess, about 23 times. Borg has a five or six match lead. He usually has played well against Connors, and there was a stage there in 78, 79 where he started dominating Jimmy yep. Connors. Connors didn't have the artillery to break through him. Now, however, Connors is attacking more. came across that ball, Donald. Beautiful stroke. And as the ball hit, it skidded out a little bit to Borg's right. Now, when Connors can slide his racket across the ball like that, he seems to hit a much better forehand. It's when he sort of cups the racket and comes underneath it with that indecisive stroke that he gets into trouble. And most of the times, you'll find he's, he's really missing the ball with a shot into the net. He rarely overhits it. rallies here early in this match. There's that shot we just talked about. Good approach. Look out. Oh. He brought it in, but it was over the baseline. Borg's starting to loosen up now, Donald. I think he was really tight at the start of this match, but now he's getting into it. as we mentioned earlier is not playing real real fast and it's difficult to serve and volley even though we're playing indoors Having a look at that same linesman. Well, that's about Connors acted like he thought the ball was out. Yeah, I think he did. You can tell, Donald, when you're playing out there, when you hit a ball that you know is going to go out, you can feel it on that racket. It's a little too much depth. Well, he got a lucky call. The board move in on that return of serve. Volley from the base. Oh! Best point of the match, Donald. Well, I like that board backhand. He really knifed it. He normally is not that confident up there. Look. Watch the lunging volley. Borg quickly gets over to the ball. Now watch Connors. Half volleys the ball. Look at Borg. He moved in very quickly after he hit the shot. Great play. 40-30 to Jimmy Connors. He leads 2-1. First set. But Borg giving away a lot of room there up the center. 
Oh, good serve Game by Connors. Best serve by Jimmy so far out wide to that two-hander. Borg couldn't handle it. And Connors up three to one. I thought he might be a little bit tired after that long match yesterday. Connors barely getting by Johan Creek in a tiebreaker in the third set. And yet it looks like he's bounced back here. with a lot of depth off that forehand. You know, Barry, they just played a best of five set match in Korea on Wednesday, these two, Connors and Borg. And Borg led two sets to one. Connors won at seven, six in the fifth. And I think Borg got a little tired. Really? He won't get tired two out of three today. This is only two out of three. Good. Straight in. Court. Let court. It's good. Oh. Now, Borg let that let court hit, and then he waited for Jimmy to commit himself. When Jimmy went to the other side, he played behind him. Very clever play. Watch it here now. Connors goes for the shot. There you see the let court. Now watch Borg. He just hesitates, lets Connors start his move, and then hit cross court. Great play by Borg. Just that split second is all it took there. Connors had already committed himself. Well, when the ball shortens up like that, he has to take a chance, Connors, and go either way. Overhitting the forehand wide. You know, so often you get a let cord and it works against you, but when that ball hits the net and slows down and you're in a commanding position, what a great feeling. No one's left here, 14,000 strong in the Yogi Stadium. Crucial points here for Bjorn Borg early in the first set. He's down a break, two points away from a second break, and against Connors on this surface indoors. Donald, you do not want to be down two service you breaks. Sure oh, he went for a big one. Yeah, Connors, Connors thought that ball was good. Thought it was good, so did Bjorn. You think Jimmy will give this next point away? I somehow don't think he will. Frank Hammond has buried his head up there. <laughs> the chair umpire, he didn't want to overrule that call, but he thought it was good. Left court. Ah. Go wide. 14, 13. I think Connors felt psychologically there, subconsciously maybe, that he had lost the point on Borg's great serve. And you don't feel quite so bad when you miss a shot in a point like that because you, you're sort of playing a point you didn't win anyway. And this footwork of Borg's on the baseline. Game four. Well, he gets out of it, Donald. Big game for Bjorn Borg, because he could have been down 4-1. Instead, he's only down 3-2. It's two out of three. Short ball. Oh, and he just taps it into the open court. Borg was trying to hit a topspin lob there. It looked to me like he may have changed his mind at the last minute. Donald and Gaunt got about defensive. about half of it. Yeah, it looked like. shot. No way he could field it. 
Watch the approach now. Jimmy hits a good ball down the line. Borg over quick. Look at him flick that ball. Connor's no way to handle it. He gets such angle, Donald, on both the backhand and forehand passing shots. That's what's made him so tough through the years. That ball's dropping very quickly. Connor's threw his racket at that volley in desperation. Another chance. No. 13, 15. Now that shot right there, Borg, I would say, maybe a year ago, in full competition, might have made the get on the forehand. He looked just a tiny little bit slow to me. up well there. He said, go ahead and hit it. <laughs> he tried to sort of steer that ball down the line. He stopped his swing. He didn't follow through. He's one of our colleagues, Japanese commentator, I guess. He's for NTV doing it here live in Tokyo. We thank them for all of their help and cooperation. It's been a great three, three matches that we've seen so far. All of them, three sets. Barry, the tennis yep. has been unbelievable. Really has been. They don't come any closer. With an error off that forehand, he set it up exactly like he wanted to with that lob. Borg hit a fairly short ball. Jimmy, all he had to do was use the approach shot, but he netted it. Two errors in a row. And a chance here for Borg to break back and get even at three all. Big point for Connors. Sure is. I was going to say, he's missed it three times there in that yep. game. Isn't that amazing? He lines that forehand up, and for some reason, I feel he's sort of indecisive on whether he's going to hit the top spin or come under the ball. The best shot that he's developed off that left-hander is like a side spin, like the old Kramer approach, if you'll pardon the expression, a guy who used to sort of sweep sideways over the ball. Jack Kramer, the used the approach. The old guy from L.A., Mr. Tennis well, out there, the czar. Good friend of ours. John A. Kramer. He runs the big tournament out there next week. Of course, he'll tell you that his son, Bobby Kramer, is the tournament director, which he is. But we know who runs the tournament, Jack. And we look forward to seeing you the next weekend. That's wide. Now, Connors. First point, seventh game here. Borg breaking back to get it even, and all of a sudden, Jimmy comes alive. It's a real good approach shot down the line. Keeps the pressure on Bjorn. Well, the one serve Borg has really been effective with Donald yesterday and so far today is that one down the center. That's his big bread and butter first serve when he hits it flat down the center. into this match, Barry. He's starting to hit with a lot more depth. That ball was about six inches from the baseline. Brought the air from Jimmy. And 30-15, three all. First time Borg's been ahead in this match as he lost his opening serve. There he went for it again, that big one down the center. Oh, Ooh, that hurt him. 30 all. 
Well, the one time when he seems to have trouble with the second serve, Donald, same thing again. Somebody got the music up there? Somebody's looking up here. We have nothing to do with that. There's some music on the radio off to our left. They're deal. Now Borg having some trouble with that first serve. Yeah, this rivalry, Barry, that we've talked about goes way back, but Borg is only 26 years of age from Malmo, Sweden. Jimmy Connors is only 30 from Belleville, Saint, Belleville Illinois, a suburb of St. Louis. And they've been around it, it seems like a long time. Sure does. Oh, Great yes. volley. There is. Well, if Connors needs it, he breaks back and goes ahead 4-3 for set. Should give Jimmy a little advantage here in this service game. Flat cord. Connors hit that ball really well, but it was a chance of why. He really nailed it. A little wide. Bjorn sort of tried to flick it with his wrist rather than getting down to it. A little lazy on his footwork there, yep. Barry. Just a little slow. 4-3, 15 off. Ooh, bad error by Connor. Wasn't that tough a shot? Jimmy looked like he was almost trying to put that two-hander away on that ball rather than keep it in play, and he puts himself in trouble. Really the best volley of Connors when he's sort of lunging at it, very high ball. He stab volleys. He really guesses well. He anticipates. Watch Borg now. He waits. Jimmy comes in on a good shot. Now watch him really put his weight into this. Boom. Two hands. Never let the other hand off the racket. He just lunges at it. He guesses perfectly. the tennis they're both pretty good players yeah. now and the crowd here is very appreciative of their royalty coming to this match sort of a rare occasion I understand when they show up at a professional sporting uh, event anywhere in Japan oh. off the top of Bjorn's racket and, and there it is Connors holds Watch it right down the middle now. Borg giving a lot of room on the right. Jimmy starts down the middle. Watch Bjorn. He tries to hit a big forehand. Look, the ball goes right off the top of the racket. It's up about 40 feet in the air. And he took a big swing on that, Donald. I was surprised that he swung as with his biggest swing. Trying to return serve. Sometimes want to cut the swing down. Connor's doing all the running. It's wide. It's like he's on a string there, but he's doing all the work. Oh, that's a good 
good return. Bjorn looks like he's sort of undecided, Donald. He's not sure whether he wants to go in and try and volley. I don't think he feels that confident on his first serve in here. Connor's real consistent now on the return. Mm. Well, he went for that shot. there. Jimmy actually came under that ball with a two-hander. He has so much more ability off that two-handed side than off the forehand. Set point. Oh, and Connors has got it. Set. He's won the first set 6-3 and this is the way he'd like to close out Boyd's career. Plus one set to Connors. Stay tuned for more tennis. Just yeah. tucked away the first set 6-3. He's serving first game of the second set. Funny, Barry, you know, the runner up here gets seventy thousand dollars, the winner a hundred and ten and Talk about their great matches at Wimbledon, Borg, and Connors over the years. A moment. See if Borg will change his strategy here at all. I, I feel that he ought to maybe press a little bit more. He's been successful so often at Wimbledon by coming in. I don't know why he doesn't try a little bit more here. Borg played twice, Barry, in 76 on his great run. Borg beat Nastasi, and then he battled Connors back-to-back -back in the finals of Wimbledon 1977 and 78, winning both one in straight sets. In 1979, he battled Tanner in four sets, and in 1980, he beat McEnroe in five sets, and that was the great string of Bjorn Borg, five times a Wimbledon winner. They said he used to own that center court, and he wouldn't rent it out to anybody. <laughs> I saw a few of those finals, and I'll tell you, they were great ones. Fantastic rally. Oh, he'll get it. And Borg finally really worked his way into that net where he had an open shot if he got Connors deep. And he did. Borg immediately puts Connors in trouble. Boy, that was a good approach shot. He hit that thing right down the line, gave himself a little bit of room for margin of error. And then when Connors went up the line, Borg had that net totally covered. Maybe he heard me. I, I think he ought to attack just a little bit more. Donald, he can volley up there once he gets established. Ooh. Here it is. Immediate chance for Borg to break serve. First game of the second set. They have been Connor's worst first serve of the yeah. afternoon. He's got great eyesight, so he normally doesn't mishit it. He also does one thing very well. The minute he sees the ball floating, he takes a couple of real quick steps, which moves his body in about another four or five feet, Donald, which is amazing what that can do. It, it can let him hit the ball about six or eight feet in the air as opposed to beneath the, the uh, level of the net. Much better shot. 
Wish I could have moved that fast. I would have been able to get more high volley. Okay. I was always bending down. It stayed in. Same thing again. Great approach shot. Boy, that's right on the line. I don't believe Connors is pounding so much at the board backhand. I guess his forehand he likes better across here. court. Look at this footwork by Borg. On his toes, he moves over, one hands it, Connors quickly in, just nails it into the open court. You rarely see Borg do what he just did there, and that's drop that other hand, but he got stretched out so wide that he had no choice. Good approach shot by Connors. of time now. Look at this. A few extra bounces. Trying to get his rhythm. Three times, Barry. You know it's going to go about 15 times. Pace seems to be picking up too, Donald. They're hitting the ball a lot harder than they were early in that first set. Another chance for Borg. the way Connors is coming in on that high floater. Well, when he gets a good deep shot, he steps in. Watch this great shot right here. Look at the power on that shot. Now he hesitates, sees a high ball, comes in, puts it away cross court. But did he ever set that up with a two-hander there? He really moved into that ball. I think that's the strongest, hardest two-hander he's hit the entire match. When he sees that cross court open up, Donald, he goes for it. And I think he feels very safe hitting that ball over there. Connor's forehand now. Let court. It's good. Connor's a step slow. He's going to swoosh it down the line with a swing. He hit the big swooping shot, but it was low. Into the net. Advantage Borg. Borg really working Jimmy over now, making him work very hard in this game. These are the kind of games you feel late in the match when you have to work that hard to hold your serve. Cord. Get it. Oh, well, there it is. Heads up. Connor's upset because of the let cord and he missed that ball. And we're at one love for Borg. Second set. Borg in the center there of your screen. The Romanian wife of this gentleman. I wonder what they're going to do. Bjorn says he's going to wander around a little bit and just take it easy and not do too much for a while. I guess he can afford to. Yeah, he certainly can. One love, Borg. In the lead, second set. to say, Barry, that in the 77, 78, 79 era, Borg really dominated Connors. 
And then suddenly last year, Connors came on and Borg was retired semi, didn't play Wimbledon in the U.S. Open, and guess who won both titles? Jimmy <laughs> Connors. And then they played a series of exhibition matches in the October, November, fall period, and Connors won a share about three out of four of those matches. So I think he's found out how to beat Bjorn Borg. Oh. There was a time there, two or three years ago, he didn't have a clue. It was amazing. Borg had a big runner. And Connors all of a sudden got a little more patient. Awful tough to run out of patience against a guy like Borg. Big serve. Ace the board. 15-30. Oh, another big serve. Another big one. All of a sudden, Borg coming to life here. He impresses you, Barry, with that first ball when he goes for it and makes it. He's well, been doing that with a good percentage. Same thing again. I don't know what they called that out, Donald. We're waiting for it. They called it good. Well, they couldn't have. They sure did. That ball was No, wild. I beg your pardon. Well, wait a second here. Scores boards is wrong. It's I think it's 40-30 to board. The board has the wrong score, I believe. I hate to disagree with you, my really? old friend, but uh, I didn't see Frank Hammond say anything. What? I don't believe it. Yep, they did. They called that, that ball. ball was well wide. Amazing, wasn't it? One off. Yeah, and that was a very lucky break for Jimmy Connors. Now, Borg, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Well, Borg thinks it's deuce. Connors thinks it's game. Yeah, well, I think nobody called that ball on the return. Now, Bjorn. Sorry. You do make the well, <laughs> there you have it. Both the scoreboards well, were Well, that wrong. means that that ball was out. Nobody's arguing. I think Connors knew the return that he hit was out. And we're back to Deuce. Oh. Oh, it's out. Well, Connors really comes in quickly when he gets that high bouncing ball. When he attacks, part of his play is to get quickly into the net and really be ready to lunge. It's amazing to me the difference in the two-handed approach shot, Donald, and that left-handed forehand. I yeah, mean, it's exactly. It's like 100% more effective when he hits the two-hander coming in. Everybody says if Connors could just improve that forehand, it'll be, be unbeatable. He used to say if Rosewall had a good serve, he'd be unbeatable. I used to say if McKay was quicker and smarter, he would have been unbeatable, but it's all relative. Thanks a lot. Oh. Look at this pace. Here he comes. Oh, my gosh. Look out. Game time. And so Jimmy Connors has broken serve and won all in the second set. This crowd loving it. You don't see much better tennis than that, Donald. Watch Borg here in the backcourt now. Connors, good cross court. Borg will just get his racket on it. And Jimmy almost tries to nail it into the stands. Borg stretches. No way he can get it. Those three points were about the three best points we've seen Connors play all afternoon. In the whole tournament, I Yep. To break serve. One all. the ball was out. There's the sign. It's about even now. Four to four. Yeah, pretty close. pretty close. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, I'm told these guys... they had four before, I think he said. Four, I guess, bad calls. They said they're, they're claiming that each of them have gotten four bad calls. That's sort of hard to, to pick. Play right now. 
that pace is unbelievable. Hitting the ball so much harder than you think, Barry, for these many rallies. But I tell you what, I think Connors runs the risk of making Bourne mad when he gets into that exchange. Yep. Because he's not going to intimidate Bjorn, and you don't want him angry. Because if he tries a little harder, he's tougher. It's interesting. He, he got right back at Connors in that verbal exchange. And no matter what you say, Borg's got to be one of the best competitors of all times. In his own quiet way, he's always competing. I think record wise, Borg may be the best player in the last 50 years if you look at his wins and loss results. That's Six true. times at the French, five time winner, win, winner at Wimbledon twice at the Italian. I don't know who did better than that. Roy Emerson with 12 major titles, I know. All over. Here he comes. Oh, that's a great shot down the line. Connor's playing flawlessly now, Donald. Really, he... He's getting a he's lot of good depth and pace on his shots. That wasn't a bad forehand Borg hit to come in on that last shot, and Jimmy just waited for it, lined the two-hander up, and hit it down the line. About a foot and a half to aim into because Borg had the backhand volley covered. ball like a half volley and stroked it. Perfect winner. This is great tennis. Look at this. Borg in the backcourt now. Gets the opening. Watch him line this up and just bangs it down there. That is a clean winner. No question about it. And we're seeing clean winners, Donald, from both sides and from both players all of a sudden in one game here. Connor still with the ad. Here's where he needs a big serve. Right here. He's a little winded. He's taking a little extra time. Just wind up a little bit on that serve. He went for it. He tried to get that first one in wide. No, he overhits the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lucky break for Connors. He was out of position that time. So Borg overhits the forehand. Connors holds serve and goes to a 2-1 lead in the second set. It's been a lob when the other one comes in, so it's been a big factor here. The running room here on this court, good lighting, a slow bounce. It's over. I'll tell you something, Connors made a great return there off a brilliant first serve by Borg. That looked like a clean ace. Jimmy very quickly over, made the return. This could be a big game. 2-1, Connors leading. We'll have to get a break here. He's got love 15. Ooh. A rare error off that two hander. We haven't seen Connors miss from the backcourt in about two games here. That's right. He's been extremely consistent. Watch this now. Watch Connors lean to the right, right before. See him there? And, and Bjorg then. read him perfectly. Yep. Boy, that's a good serve. A lot of top spin on that ball. Oh, Bjorn goes for a big hand oh. off a ball that wasn't that tough. Smart the way Connors yep. changed the pace. Jimmy uses that shot effectively, Donald. He'll wait until the last minute and then sort of loft that ball with a lot of top spin. Gives himself a chance to set up. There you see the same shot again. See if Connors will try and anticipate a Borg serve down the middle. Nope, it's wide. Ooh, it doesn't get over and there you're hung there. Boy. Uh, this is awfully critical to Borg. He cannot fall further behind to Connors. He's trailing 1-2 now. Service break point, 30-40. 
second serve. Close there on the baseline. Oh, that's a good shot. Well, oh boy, Jimmy hit that backhand beautifully, timed well, steered it by Borg at the net down the line. And Borg missed it. Watch Borg now. Comes in. Watch Jimmy just really concentrates, gets down low, hits the shot up the line. Bjorn couldn't handle it. That could be the biggest point of the match right there. He breaks serve. 3-1 to Jimmy Connors. Borg won this event over Connors in 78. Connors beat McEnroe in 80. Connors beat McEnroe again in 81. And Borg beat Vilas last year. He's the defending champion. So right now it's two matches apiece here in the Suntory Cup finals between these two guys. This is the rubber. hits. Jimmy Connors, everyone's number one player in the game. He was currently a number two on the Atari ATP tennis ranking. Look at that, Barry. Holy cow, what an angle. Borg trying to field it. Cross court, it's a safe, safe passing shot. It's a good thing to remember. Hit cross court when you're in trouble. Connors has come off. He's going to change rackets. Hope it doesn't change his game. Isn't that amazing? At this point in the match, I wonder why he would change, unless he broke a string, and I didn't see him break a string on that point. You notice he hit a couple frames for the tension, just to see how yep. tight they were strung. Jimmy does a strange thing, Donald. Before the match, he'll pour he water. He didn't know the score here. <laughs> Thank you, sir. 15 love. He'll pour water <laughs> on that grip, and then he towels it down, and he says that makes it a lot tackier, easier to, to hold on to. So he loses the first point with that new racket. All of a sudden, switches rackets and loses two points real quick. You mentioned something, Don, we can talk about later, but Jimmy weights those rackets a little bit strange. Yeah, he I does. Understand. He really does. He takes good care of them. And he always uses the same side for a forehand and the same side for two-handed backhand hmm. throughout a match. Doesn't change. Oh, this was a big point. Big point. The Crown Prince enjoying it. Watch it here. Wide serve. Borg way out of court. Connors has the whole court to hit into, and look where he hits it. About five inches from the line, down the line, for an almost winner. Back to deuce. I thought he took a little chance on that two-hander there with that much court to hit into. It's back. And here Jimmy can pull away. Point for 4-1. Mariana Seaman Eskew aboard. A little bit nervous about her husband. He's in trouble. Down a set, down 3 1. Good. Good get. Look at that angle. Those guys really hustle, boy, on both sides. Here you Connors made two good saves there. Borg crunched the last overhead. Deuce. 3-1. Connors has the first set. 6-3.
bad at it about Dylan. It wasn't that tough a shot. To me, like he was almost trying to hit a winner off that forehand down the line from deep in the court. Let cord. Jimmy slips a little bit there. Great kiss. He'll get it. No. Oh, that's going to take a lot out of Jimmy Connors. He's a little tired, Barry. I think he's oh. winded. I'll tell you something. That point really hurt him. He it lunged. Is. Watch it here. Lunges. Hits the lob right there. Now watch this get here. Connors with a tremendous get. Now watch the run he has to make. And he's going full blast. When you run that hard and miss the shot, you're saying to yourself, should I have tried? to make that because right now Connors is definitely winded. Watch how much time he'll take. Borg knows it too. You Watch see this. a smile look, on Borg's face? Look at this. Connors is, boy, he is trying to catch some wind right now. He is totally exhausted. Not exhausted, but winded. Look out. Oh. That's a shot Connors never misses, that high stabbing volley on either side. Zooming in shoulder now. high, boy, he's tough. There's the crown prince with his wife, the crown princess, in the orange. Aren't they a cute couple? They really are. I like that little hat. Yeah. Advantage to Connors for 4-1. Let's it go. Uh-oh. Jimmy even thought it was good. Isn't that incredible on that point? Why did you cover that? That is amazing. He watched it hit the line. Didn't even try and play it. Watch it here now. Connors for sure thinks his return is going to go long. Watch him. Watches it. Says, you know what? I made a mistake. It was good. What? That could hurt him, Donald. That was a big point. Game point. To go up 4-1 in the second set. Now he's back to deuce again Ooh. ouch ouch that really hurt a second serve he served so deep it carried over the base over the service line by about an inch and a half advantage board hard now. It's a great look at that shot by Borg. He's got about two feet to hit into, and he does. Break a serve. State trails only 2 3. Well, that was a good last game. One of the better of the match. I oh. misjudged that. He really sailed. It was not that difficult a backhand. Amazing how you can miss a backhand like that after the brilliant shot that he hit to win that last game. A feeling Connor's gonna try to climb all over in this game, get it back. Go up. 4-2. Jimmy exerted an awful lot of energy in that last game, Donald. We'll see how it tells on him. He, he did some running on that one point in particular where he had to get all the way from the back of the court, tried to make the little drop shot, but didn't quite make it. Whoa. There's the Borg of old, let you know he's still around. Watch it here, nice motion on the serve. Hits that ball right at the top and just creases it cross court. No play at all for Connors.
Borg again trying to hit that big east wide. Jimmy playing it real cautious. does that so well, Donald. He did it yesterday against Creek. He was tired in that third set, but he just took a little bit more time, allowed himself to settle down, get some wind. He is a little winded. where he really is toughest, when he's that's most that's dangerous, when he makes a recovery off balance, and you relax just a moment, and then the ball's by you. He almost pulled that off there. Connor suddenly got to the ball, but missed it. Evens the count. Three games all, second set. I thought Connors was a little impatient in that game, Donald. I think he's feeling the, the heat. I think he's feeling that game. And he he's wants feeling to tired. Try and end these points a little quicker than he should, and that's tough to do against Borg. Bjorn right back in the set. was a little short. Watch it here now. Connors with a good approach shot right down the line. Borg will get to it, but that lob is real short. Jimmy back easily. And right here, Borg had no play on the ball, but he was on the full run trying for it. Well, he thought it was a fault. Nice to call. Up. Even Connors now waiting. Abort, no, uh, Frank Hammonds called it good. He overruled. Oh, he did? Yeah. He said 30 love. Nobody knows it, but that's what he said. I don't think Connors even thought it was a good serve. But he's back to the deuce court. 30 love. change of pace into the forehand there. Borg, watch him move to the left now. See him go to the left? Oh, what a good picture. <laughs> he jumps to the left he to hit a him. backhand. Game time. Game time. Game time. And I'm sure he loved winning that game so easily, Donald, because he was winded. So Jimmy Connors goes to a 4-3 lead after winning the first and the Suntory Time. title is at stake, $110,000, which I'm sure both these guys, even though they have a few hundred thousand dollars, wouldn't mind winning.
Mr. Borg serving the new ball. Back to it, second set. Bjorn Borg gets the new balls at the far end. 6-3 and 4-3, 9 and 7, 16 games. They're changing at 7 and 9. So Borg is serving with new balls. He's down 3-4, second set. That's wide. Connor seems pumped up there. He smells it. He needs to win this game here. And you gave us a nice little look there of confidence. <laughs> I saw him with a big smile. I didn't know he felt that good. Oh, oh yes. Oh. And there's why. The two-handed cross court, his best shot. Oh, you love to see him hit that, Barry. Watch how he gets look the Look at the ball now. Watch him line this up. Moves back very quickly, Ooh. and then all his weight comes in. Tremendous follow-through over that yep. shoulder. He flicks that racket. Good return off a big first serve. Great shot by Borg. I don't believe he's... The level of play rises. Two great points. A super two-hander by Connors and a winning forehand by Borg. And it's dead even. You know, it's amazing, Donald. Bjorn has missed more easy balls in this match than he has the, than the hard ones. Yeah. He's made some great shots on the run. What's the reason for that, Barry? I think he just sort of lapses a little bit. He sees the ball, figures he doesn't have a tough shot. Big first serve again. Well, he really uncorked that one. We're down to the crucial stages here. Connor's loving to win this game and go to 5-3 with his own serve. First serve, he's hitting a lot of flat first serves, trying to go for the ace. Ooh! Yeah. And it gives Connors another lease on life to get back to Deuce. And we would love to tuck away this game. He'd serve out the match next time around. It's long. You've rarely seen either of the players take second serves and come in, Donald. They're just too much respect both these players to do that on the return. Oh. Takes it. Advantage four. It might jump over the service line there, but he got another lease on life, as you say. Second serve. Give me one of those kind of shots we talked about, where Borg really wasn't under pressure. He gets a little tired, Barry. I really do, as he yeah. moves to his right. A little slow. I didn't hear the let. He's got two to come. Oh. That, was ball. that was wide. Well, you see that line's way over to the right of your screen. So look at him stretched out. He's down there. High level. Tried to call it out, and he yep. changed his mind. That was a fabulous forehand. Whew. That's got to be Connor's best forehand of the afternoon. He stretched out wide, hit a great angle. And this is a great point. point. Good save. Oh, he mishit the volley. Again. 
for me. It's a dank shot. Gave Borg a chance to get back set in the net. Well, Borg missed that volley right there, Donald. He wasn't happy with the way he hit it. The second one he had no problem with, but that first one put him in trouble. Deuce. First service. Good volley. Connor's on the run. He'll get it. Nope. This crowd really loves it. Watch this shot now. Connor's on the full run, flicks the ball up the line. Look how far out of court he is. Tries to come back. No way he can get there. Connor's winded right now. He is Barry. really working. Look at that. Look at he is working hard. Good save. Oh, now he's really, he's out of breath. Four, all. Four games all, and there is Mariana Ford, center of your screen. You will see Connor's taking lots of time right here for all, as he had to work so hard in that game. You know him well, <laughs> as he's taking plenty of time. on that second serve, Donald. Now he's going to either change rackets or maybe just towel off a little bit. Yeah, he's 30 seconds in between points. Don't see a clock out here, but I'm sure Frank Hammond will blow the whistle when those 30 seconds are up. Board back behind that baseline, maybe by six feet. That's wide. 30 left. It was the kind of point you'd love to win easily. It's a cheap little winner. Yep. A little point that the guy makes an error on. An unforced error. There goes that linesman out wide so he can check that sideline out. I think they've done a good job calling these lines, Donald. The local guys here, they've done a super a job. tough time, too, because these four guys hit the ball so hard. You no know, marks. Oh, would he love to have had that left? Big game for Connors, big game for Borg. <laughs> Jimmy wins this. He's got the pressure on Bjorn. He has to serve being down 4-5 in a set. But he's not there yet. 30-15. shot and couldn't handle it. Good serve now out wide. Borg with a high return. Jimmy lines it up. Borg starts to move to his right. There you saw it. Clean winner, but he really hit that ball as hard as he could. Connor's footwork on the line there. Watch him line up. He gives himself a little bit of room behind that line. Very different stance than John Mack. Yeah, completely. Jimmy's got his left foot behind his right one. What's well, a little more orthodox? Like John, really. Perpendicular position. The other way, John's parallel. Oh, there's that forehand again. 14, 13. Connors is going to try like crazy for a first serve here. What would you do, Donald? Would you try and spin it out wide if you're a left-hander? 
seems to work for him. Howard Connors would go right down the center and take would a you? chance. You know. It's wide open. He didn't. No. Oh, shit. Boy, he's feeling it. I tell you what, he's tired. Yeah, you can tell it. He's trying to end the points quickly now. He's winded. And this game could tell it all for Jimmy Connors, because if he loses serve, Borg certainly is the fresher of the two players right now. And he'll be serving for the set. Arena break point. Connor's in trouble now. Oh. He'll get it. it. Could go long. And that point right there may have saved Jimmy Connors this match, Barry. I'll tell you something. That was a tremendous get by Connors. He was on the full run. Watch the shot now. Up the line. Borg pops it up in the air. Jimmy Con on the full run. Flips it up the line. Bjorg surprised. He was really surprised by that shot. I think surprised that Jimmy got it. Yes, yeah. did what he did with it. I think he thought also, Donald, that he might be going cross court if he could just get it a split second sooner. Because Connors hits that angle shot awfully well. Back to Deuce. Oh boy, that was a big point. This is where Connors could really use a big serve. He is winded. He's had to do so much more running in the last four or five games. Nope. Also good depth by Connor. He whacked that little approach shot. Kept the topspin on the backhand side. But don't you think Donald right here is where Connors is at his best? Every time things get tight, he seems to be able to pace himself, pull out the big point. And he, he, really he said plays to me yesterday, he said, you know, I like to grind out a match. Yeah. I said, what do you mean? He likes he said, I love it at five all in the third. Yeah, he loves it. He loves that tight stuff, the competition. It's amazing, that mental attitude. Gives him an edge. What? Well, he's grinding this one out, I'll tell you. This Borg is getting tougher. trail second set he's lost the first set and Connors seemingly is getting a little tired so he'll go for broke this game Jimmy Connors, let's see that volley there. He punches into the open court. Back line, Connors in his crouch. Here comes Borg on the serve. Great volley. And Borg startled Connors by coming in. 15-30. One of the great ones. 
that has ever played anywhere on any surface, Bjorn Borg, 15-30. Boy, oh boy, how I hate to see him retire. The game is the loser. Out. And it's wide. And now, Jimmy Connors stands match point, title point, and he will have won this event three out of the last five years if he can win this point. Borg, the defender here this year, his swan song, his sayonara, the last point maybe of his career competitively. Ace, and says, don't rush me, boys, I'm still here. And this crowd really appreciating his effort. Second match point to Connors. Side for Barry McKay in an interview. Barry? Jimmy Connors, great win out there. What was going through your mind playing in what might be the last match you're ever going to play against a great opponent of yours, Bjorn Borg? Yeah, it's a difficult position to be in, Barry. Uh, I know it is his last match. I know how much he wants to win it, but uh, uh, I'm in the same boat he is, and that's to try to win the tournament like this. Uh, I'm going to miss playing in these kind of matches. We've had a lot of great matches and uh, in a lot of great tournaments over the past 10 years or so, and uh, it's going to be a rivalry missed. I've enjoyed playing him, and I've enjoyed beating him, and I've en enjoyed sometimes losing to him at the same time. So uh, I'm going to miss playing against him. That was a great match, Jimmy. I thought late in that second set, you had a couple of real tough uh, shots where it looked to me like you got a little bit winded. How do you get yourself going again after a tough shot like that? Well, I did, Barry, but if I can't go out there and play uh, three, out, uh, three out of five sets or two out of three sets uh, with that kind of tennis, then I'm in the wrong business. Uh, I'm in pretty good shape now. I, like I said, I had a couple of weeks off and didn't play any tennis at all, and then kind of gradually got back into playing the tough matches like I did here. And uh, to be able to play the kind of match I did yesterday and the kind of match I did today and still feel the way I do, which is quite good, then uh, I'm feeling all right. How about the rest of the year, Jimmy? You won two big titles, Wimbledon and the U.S. Open. Are you looking forward to Wimbledon right now? I am. I'm trying to uh, arrange my schedule now so that it, it fits uh, fits in kind of good so that I'm not overplayed by Wimbledon and I'm not underplayed and it's just a matter of uh, really how I do the next couple of tournaments if I uh, get get a lot of good match play in and play well then I might uh, just kind of take off a little bit and, and practice during May if not I may have to go and play the French so I'm just waiting right now okay Jimmy good luck the rest Thank of the year you. okay it's a pleasure okie doke that's it from courtside with Jimmy Connor along the outside ideal moment the last two Duke making waves and build a gen they straighten out down the back stretch. Jackie Blue in front by a half length. On the rail sheet music is second by three lengths. Barino Dublin is third by half length.